Hello, my name is James Julian, and I'm the product specialist for Wireless Tools. Today we're going to be showing you how to program the Wi-Fi settings on our new low reaction tool models. There are a couple things that you will need in order to get started. First is a tool, second a fully charged battery, you also need a T10 torque screwdriver and a micro USB cable. Let's get started. Insert the battery. Connect the USB cable to the tool. And connect to the tool. Our focus today is going to be the wireless settings tab here. And as you can see, there's no parameter values loaded. I'm going to use the read button here to read the information currently stored in the tool. And as you can see, this tool is already set to WLAN. You can select Bluetooth, gray all this information out here. We're going to select WLAN and we'll start at the top. Controller IP address is the controller that you plan to connect the tool to. This information should be provided to you by the customer's IT department. If you're doing this for a demo, then this information should all be available on your travel router. Next is the remote port. That is default 6677 and does not change. Then the SSID. This is the broadcast name of the wireless signal. In our case, it's going to be Smart Connected. So we'll type that in here. Keep in mind that capitalization, spacing, all matters. So we need to type it exactly as it is displayed. Next is the tool name. This should be unique to each tool. Generally, it's a station or an operation. It's also the host name and will be visible on network equipment. For our purposes, we'll leave it set as TBP. Next is the IP configuration. You can leave this DHCP, which will let the router automatically assign an IP address, or we can set it to static, which will allow us to set an IP address. Once again, customer IT departments will provide this information. If it's DHCP, they will let you know. If it's static, they will give you IP addresses for each tool. For our purposes today, we'll leave that DHCP. The channels to select are gonna be dictated by the IT department. Each of these bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, have been divided into channels. I know that my router is only operating on channel 6. So we'll unselect all other unused channels. We're going to leave 5 gigahertz blank. Next is the security settings. Again, provided by IT, but in our case we're using WPA2 PSK AES with a printable ASCII password. And just like the SSID, the password is case sensitive, space sensitive, it needs to be typed exactly the way it is. Now, after you've completed all of these settings, you select right to tool. And now we're able to disconnect from Tools Talk Service to disconnect the USB from the tool, disconnect the tool battery. Now when we reinsert the battery, it will connect to the Wi-Fi, automatically associate with the controller, and populate in the tool list. It will be available for assignment to a virtual station.